For a thousand years, the world has been ruled by ancient gods. Humanity was on the verge of annihilation until the arrival of the first god killer, Ra. I am his grandson and heir to the throne of Kemet. He took it upon himself to forge me into a ruthless god killer as well, because the ancient god still ruled most of his world. Every day pushed me to the brink of death. But the time for training is finally over. Reunited with my kin, now was the time I forged my path forward. I will be the greatest pharaoh that ever lived. I am Asad. After the 1,000 year reign of the ancients, humanity has finally pushed back against the gods. This is a time before history, a time when legends are forged and myths are facts. The god killers look and feel like any mortal, but wield a terrifying power that rivals that of the gods. Their only weakness is their mortality. The ancients, however, rule most of the realms of men and are immortal. They are few, but their power is immense. This world is cursed with conflict. Nations wage war over the limited resources available to them brother against brother. It is a dark age, but there is still hope. A new generation has emerged and it is their time to save the world, though they do not know it yet. This is their story. Our heroes find themselves in a diplomatic visit with their sister nation Kush in the capital city of Kerma. Tensions between the two nations is tense, to say the least. Remember, this is a diplomatic visit. Don't cause any trouble. Of course, teacher. We would never do such a thing. Relax. I will keep them in line. It's been a long time, Noon. Please, I am neither Noon nor Ra. I am Tehuti. Very well. Oh, sir! Bess! Yield, child. This hall is sacred. If you wish to fight, Take it outside. Is that wise? Me and Ra were once like this. I see no problem here. But first, you two should show your proper respects. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, guys. Let's go to the courtyard. Follow me. All right. I got some new moves to show you. No need to be so formal, young woman. Can Aso come to play with us today? Aso is not feeling well, dear. Oh, oh, come on. I can sense the power in her. Really? Can you sense this? Hurry up and catch your friends before you get lost, young one. Oh, okay. Was that really necessary? One day that girl will exceed my power. But first, she must wise up to the world. Agreed. 
So, Bess, what's with this self-righteous headdress? Oh, this? <laughs> it's something the locals want me to wear. Something about my sacred right as the heir to the throne. Yeah, but it's huge. It's surprisingly not that hard to move in. Hey, I didn't come here to talk about fashion. Last time, you beat me in a duel. But this time, I will crush you. All right then. Before we begin, I want to see what the others have learned over these last five years. Seth? We really didn't have any powers when we last met, but now... Let's just say, things have changed. My control of the sand is unique, but it isn't the only thing I control. What the? No! No! Why would you do this to me? Bess, open your eyes! What's wrong with you? Huh? Set. That was a horrible way to showcase your talents. How did you do it? You see my skin condition. All of the people of Kemet hated me, thought me cursed. They looked upon me as if I were a disease. That anger, the idea of being cursed, enraged me. I accidentally killed a man who scorned me when I was nine. I stared at him so viciously as he cursed at me. He didn't care of my royal birth. To him, I was nothing. I pictured all the things he saw in me and put those thoughts into his mind. His vision became that of my pain. The man rolled around like a maniac and started ripping at his own flesh. I knew not what he saw, only that I had put it in him. I ran. I understood what had happened. A thought can have a stronger effect than any physical action. Since then, I have controlled this power. I no longer use it on the common folk. I do not approve of such things. Well, I do. His powers are effective, and effectiveness goes over all morality. Really? Macbeth, you thought... Wait, where did she go? I know I just heard her. Hey, Osset, where is she? I am right here. Nekbed? My specialty is deception. I switched with our set while you were listening to Seth. There are many ways my skill set helps me to see you. But for now, this is what I am showing you. <laughs> that is why you are my favorite woman in the whole world. Okay, it's my turn. Osset, remember to hold back a lot. I know we haven't used much restraint yet, but this is a small location. You could kill us all. I wasn't even thinking of that. Thanks for reminding me. You guys might want to stand back. Why? So what? She can fly. Our father told her never to use her powers before others. This is a major violation of his will, but it's for Bess. Wait, she can do more than fly? runs the show. I can go further. Oh, Osset! Awesome. 
going it down! We have to stop her. I can tell she lost control. I was like that when I was young. I have to knock her out! I will be way too wounded if I try to force my way through! And if I throw something at her, it might be too much force and kill her instantly! Grandfather, what do I do? What in the world are those kids doing? I don't know, but you should check. Rosset has lost control. Unfortunately, I cannot stop her in her current state. Perhaps you can, Amsimi. Wait! Let me stop her. It's too dangerous. And besides, you shouldn't be eavesdropping. <sighs> what was that? <laughs> Nothing to be concerned with. I cannot see her because she moves faster than my vision. She is the whisper of death. Nuit. I, I, I am the only one that can stop her. I'll save her. I'll save the moon! Stop you! Huh? Oh, Seth. Don't worry, son. She is fine. And that is why, my dear daughter, we do not abuse our power. Now this courtyard will have to be rebuilt. I don't appreciate you using my daughter as an example. I will use her as I see fit. Yield, both of you! Husband. Yongo saw is badly wounded. Amesemi, heal him. I was planning on doing this anyway, before I was interrupted. His wounds are not fine. Alone! <coughs> nice trick, lady. Lady? You guys never cease to amaze me. Please don't show that to my father, Tahuti. Oh, I assure you. <laughs> we are so screwed. All right, children, let's go. We have destroyed enough for one day. Sorry for the mess.